guys from Barbara and welcome to my ketogenic channel. Today I will prepare some Italian cookies called abbracci. I will put a picture up here or up here, I don't know, but this word means hugs and I really miss hugs. Hugging people is so nice and I hope these cookies will bring us a lot of luck, good luck, and we will be able to hug each other again because social distancing is really hard to go on with. As you already noticed, these cookies are made of two different parts and I will also separate the ingredients so it will be easier to understand. For the darker, you will need one egg, two tablespoons of erythritol, very full tablespoon, and some almond butter. This butter has 6% carbs, so it's keto, but like all nuts, it contains some carbohydrates. For the lighter part of the cookies, the ingredients are almost the same. You will still need one egg, two full tablespoons of erythritol or your favorite sweetener and instead of the almond butter we will use the peanut butter that has 7.6% of carbohydrates. This is another super easy and super fast recipe because as you see you have three ingredients for every part of the cookie. So let's start by preheating the oven at 175 degrees Celsius that are approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit. For this recipe I will use 180 grams of almond butter, that is the entire jar, but I will use only half jar of peanut butter because the other one is 350 grams, so I will use 180 of almond and 175 of peanut, but it's just because our jars are like that, so don't worry too much. If you use spoons, it will be four spoons of almond butter and two spoons of sweetener, then one egg, very easy. So let's start by preparing the darker part of our eggs cookies by mixing the 180 grams of almond butter with the two full spoons of sweetener and the egg. At the beginning it seems that the three ingredients are not mixing and this will be very liquid and impossible to mold, but don't worry because if you keep stirring for like one minute it will get like this. Another broken plate. And now it's time to prepare the lighter part of our cookies, that is the one with peanut butter. As I told you before, we will use half jar, that is 175 grams, more or less. Don't worry too much about the quantities. And after the four spoons of peanut butter, it's time for the two spoons of sweetener. I use the erythritol, but all the sweetener with zero calories are also ketogenic. Finally, we mix with the egg, stirring vigorously for one minute and the recipe is practically finished. We just have to shape the cookies and bake them. So, as you probably noticed, the two parts of the cookies are exactly the same, one with peanut butter and the other one with almond butter. It's four spoons of butter, two spoons of sweetener and one egg. Really easy and truly fun. So, if you have kids, just ask them to help you and they will be super happy because 
the cookies will be spectacular, delicious and they are of course easy to prepare. As you know, we are on a ketogenic diet since September 2014, so many years, and we are not used to very sweet flavors anymore. I highly recommend you to taste this mix and to choose the right quantity of sweetener. For some people, maybe two spoons are too little and for others is too much. So taste what you cook and do it like you like. And now the fun, this is how you can shape them, it's exactly the same way as you shape the gnocchi, but on a ketogenic diet we cannot eat gnocchi and we can eat these delicious cookies, so don't worry and go on making these rolls and cutting them as big as you like or as small as you like, I will do very big ones because it's easier and I know that we will not eat more than one per day. Why? Because as you already know, nuts are a great keto snack, but they contain quite a lot of net carbs. Net means without fiber. And I don't want to eat too much peanut butter or almond butter. As you know, Brazilian and pecan have the less carbohydrates content, just 4%, macadamia is great too with 5%, but hazelnut, walnut and pecan have a 7%, pine nut 9% and almond a good 10%. We completely avoid pistachios with 18% of carbs content and cashews that have 27% carbs net. For the best result, I highly recommend you to flatten the cookies like I do in the video, so they will bake perfectly at 175 degrees Celsius, that are approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And only after 10 minutes, you will have this amazing result. Before eating them, you should wait for them to cool down. And as you can see from my oven, it's only a quarter to 2 p.m. And as you can see from the window, it's almost the sunset here in Stockholm. So our walk in this beautiful city will be at night. It will be afternoon, but it looks exactly like night. As I told you at the beginning, these cookies are called abbracci, that means hugs in Italian. So after the recipe, I will bring you to a special place here in Stockholm, a square where they put a big screen with all people hugging each other. This is the hope we have to go on with our normal life, to overcome Covid and to hug our loved one again. I think it's really touching. But now it's time for the walk and for the goodbye. I have to apologize because I forgot to turn on the telephone and record the outro. So I will tell you now that we can meet here every Monday at two o'clock Italian time with a ketogenic video, but also on Wednesday with the same video in Spanish and on Friday in Italian always at 2 o'clock p.m. Please subscribe to my channel, you will make me very happy. If you like the recipe, you can also share this recipe and the other ones in Facebook ketogenic groups or in your personal page. And I thank you all, all of you, because you are thousands of people now watching my recipe and that make me really, really super proud, super happy. And it's a pleasure to prepare this video and to cook with you. Virtual hugs, abbracci to everybody. Mm -hmm.